throughout the show. A 13, or rather a 17-year-old boy who was brutally murdered just weeks ago is now being remembered as a kind and a giving person who loved his family. His name is Isaac Benitez, and it happened on July 24th near Wetmore and La Choya. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live with more on this. Lupita. The county sheriff's homicide detectives have arrested two people in connection with the murder. Also, a family friend is putting together an event to help the family with expenses. It brings to life. There's a lot of goodness in our community. Gilbert Ibarra is a friend of the family. He's doing this to help, but also... Show the awareness and the support of the community to help out another Tucson, and in this case, in this case, a family who's been broken and their lives have been shattered by the tragic loss of, of this young man by Isaac. Isaac had just graduated from Floyd Wells High School in Maine. He finished high school in three years and was planning on joining the Air Force. The family says this has been very sad and a challenging time in their lives. There's no playbook or nothing, you know, you just go kind of minute by minute, you know, day by day and just uh, pray and, and ask God for guidance on, on a time like this. Isaac's father, Vicente, told his for Tucson he will miss his son immensely. He was just a, you know, kind, loving person. Everybody, you know, everybody uh, just gravitated towards my son because he was such a loving kid and he would give anybody the shirt off his back. The event takes place on Sunday at the Eagles Lodge on Stone Avenue from 11 to 4 p.m. There are good people out there in this community and using an event like this and as a venue, it helps bring that to light. And for me, that makes it so worthwhile. Also on Sunday, there will be a car show and it's free to enter. Plus, there'll be raffle prizes. Reporting live from the Pima County Sheriff's Department, Yupita Murillo, News for Tucson. All right, thank you, the beat that we're happening right now. Tucson Fire Department and local officers are searching for a stranded hiker in the Star Pass 